first location is Bufflers Park and Beach. These are some lovely rocks. Although I did a bit of scouting a week before I come here to paint, and actually took a photo of this weird tree in the area, I still want to have a quick walk around before I start to paint. These are some big rocks. The weather is just amazing. Ah, that's a nice rock. So here is the composition I want to paint, a panoramic view. I use an app on my phone called Light Meter to meter the light. I'm taking photos with my medium format film camera, GW690 second generation with some Fujifilm Pro 400H leftovers still loaded from last time. Some basic acrylic pigments. As you can see, I have primed my canvas to red. I saw some people doing it on Instagram and wanted to try it myself. After all, this is a painting study. It is for me to experiment new things to learn. coloring in the uh, lake so I add a touch of yellow you know when yellow meets blue they go crazy and they turn green so a hint of green like mint green uh, is that mint green I don't know painting a painting of my friend painting like what I really love those rocks. Like, I really love those rocks. After an hour and 40 minutes painting, the sun gets lower and lower, and I take some more reference photos with sunset lighting. Metering again. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Actually, I didn't take that many shots. Because first of all, Yabo is not that rich, okay? Those films cost money. Secondly, I'm just uh, framing. Yeah. Second place is Earl's Bells Park. Today, the weather is not as good. It is quite windy but still got some sunshine poking through clouds from time to time. I decided my composition. Today, I didn't bring my film camera. Oh, I should mention this is my first time doing plein air oil painting. That's why I'm wearing the blue gloves. Because oil paints are not that easy to wash off. Thirty minutes into painting, it starts to feel cold, so I decided to do some knee kicks and one single burpee. Hi, I'm also taking pictures of you. Most people didn't see my camera I strapped down a tree across me. 
except for these kids. These kids are smart. And another 30 minutes or so. It gets so cold that my hands literally shake like 2011 Fukushima earthquake. I can no longer paint. But apparently, it's only deep in the park where there is a lot of trees, it's cold. In open areas like the grass field outside, is at least 5 degrees warmer. It's still early, so I paint for another 40 minutes with a new composition there. Now it is the next day, back at my studio. Because I used plenty of liquid original when I was painting outside, the painting is able to be touched dry overnight. So I spent another hour to paint details. And add contrast by making the light areas lighter, dark areas darker. There we go. I think this is a decent painting. <sighs> Third place is Edward Gardens. I have high hope for this place because I need to pay for parking here. The weather is mostly cloudy and windy, which is a nicer way of saying it is freaking cold. So here is my composition. The fountain statue as the focal point I started painting late today because I spent a bit too much time in art supply store and traffic. So after just 50 minutes of painting, I have to go home soon. I stop painting and wipe out my camera to take some reference photos. But you may notice, I unlocked the shutter here. But I forgot to take the lens cap off. Unbelievable. This is a rangefinder camera. When framing, one does not look through the lens, but look through a window on the top corner. And I'm not used to that. So I return the next day. I have a high hope to make everything right this time, because I have to pay parking again. I spent some time walking around, stalking squirrels and then decide to start painting with a new composition here. It's vertical. And my gloves are yellow this time. It feels like a whole new world. Let's forget yesterday's unfortunate and have a fresh start. I like this composition. I spent over an hour painting here. I take a few reference photos with Actar 100 film. Time to move on to the fountain place from yesterday. I spent more than 40 minutes on this painting again.
but I feel like I'm stuck. I don't like this painting. Maybe it's because I shifted the tone too much during different lightings. Maybe I can fix it later. It's time to go home. I snapped some reference photos with Kodak Portrait 400 film. With lens cap off this time. Back to my studio. I spend another two hours work on some details, lights, and shadows. This is a good painting study. The one with the composition I'm most pleased with actually. I see how I can paint this one into a 24 by 48 inch big canvas. And maybe I will. So that was my recent plein air sessions. I recommend you to go out to paint as well, because the physical places has something unique to offer. The ambient sound, the smell, the temperature, the encounters with other life objects, they will all be a part of your painting. It's more alive than just a photo. You are translating the light onto a canvas. You are not just a printer. You are a printer with emotions. And that's why I love painting. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you watched all the way to the end here. See you in the next video.